For private legal pot retailers, BCGEU picket lines at government liquor and cannabis distribution centers couldn't come at a worse time, just as they struggled to capture a share of the lucrative market. If it lasts probably more than two weeks, then yeah, we're probably looking at closing the store, obviously, because there's nothing to sell. The fledgling legal industry is still grappling with government rules and competition from the underground market. Advocates are calling on the BC government to have a contingency plan for the cannabis industry. The Retail Cannabis Council of BC and the BC Craft Farmers Co-op say in a statement, we are calling on the BC government to release their essential service plan to make sure cannabis can continue to be legally distributed while labour negotiations continue. Continuing access to safe legal cannabis should, I believe, be a priority. A big gripe for private retailers is the single point distribution model. It forces legal pot shops and government owned stores to get their supply from BC liquor and cannabis centres. Mail order products get their products from the same centres. So any disruption is going to contribute to that lack of confidence. And I think that, you know, it's very easy for a consumer to say, oh, well, this is no longer convenient. They don't have what I want. Private retailers want direct access to locally grown cannabis in the same way restaurants can buy directly from local wineries and craft beer makers. Even so, targeted job action is continuing at liquor distribution centers across the province. Workers are calling for wage protections against inflation. But the government says it already has given workers a fair offer with a $2,500 upfront payment. But the ball right now is in the employer's court. So whether or not we escalate, that will be up to them. If we don't hear from them, then we will look at our next steps. The BC General Employees Union says it's not up to the BC government or the union to decide what's an essential service. Ultimately, that's defined by the Labour Code and decided on by the Labour Relations Board, leaving the legal cannabis industry stuck in the middle. Mira Baines, CBC News, Vancouver.